Hey, I know what you're thinking. What are we doing back here in Camera Raw? I thought this tip was about lens correction. Well, it is. I've got Camera Raw 6.1 loaded on here, which comes with added and bonus lens correction. So does, so does Lightroom 3, by the way, but we're not talking about that today. We've already used this shot to remove some noise uh, out of the image. So I've cleaned up the noise using the new sharpen and noise reduction filters, and we might do even a little bit more than that. But something that's new and hidden when you put this update on here is over here underneath the lens correction tab. It's brand new. Now to see the full effect of this, we're going to zoom back out. Now little known to you and I, um, well, I know about this because I took this shot. This was photographed with um, a Nikon D70, the Nikon D70, and with a particular um, make and model of lens. Now, I, don't, I can't remember what that was, but Photoshop knows it's looking at the uh, metadata of this file and it will find the lens correction that's appropriate for that lens. As a matter of fact, if I come over here to the right hand side of screen and enable lens profile corrections, turn this on, watch what happens. Boom, fixes the file. As a matter of fact, it even finds out the make and model of the camera and picks out the correct profile, that is the correct profile, to correct this shot. And you can see it's even removed, uh, if we turn this back off, the vignetting from the corner. So we'll do a before, after, before, after. That's amazing. We can then go over here and we could even fix this up a little bit more and we could straighten this up if we wanted to, to get these things looking kind of vertical or or do whatever we wanted, you can save your own uh, lens presets. We can choose them under here. We can save and load settings. You can share them with your friends. You can even look them up online. So there's a bunch of uh, fixes in there. What if you're not using Camera Raw though? Well, you can do it in Photoshop. So I'm gonna open up this particular image directly in Photoshop. Close the 3D panel, because we're not using that and then go directly to the filter menu and down to lens correction here. The lens correction used to be under distorting Photoshop, but again, we can go to lens correction. It will automatically pick out the right profile, which is a fisheye lens in this case, and even correct that. That's amazing. There's a whole bunch of different makes of camera in here, a whole bunch of a huge library um, of different presets. So you can have a look in there. I'm just scrolling through to show you a whole bunch of Canon ones. Now they're not gonna suit this particular uh, uh, photograph because, well, that's insane. It, it, of course they're not going to, it's the wrong camera. But that one's close. We can search online for Adobe, on the Adobe servers for other profiles. And now it's searching for other ones that different photographers have made and then shared, okay? We can browse uh, the lens profile creator online and we can create our own lens profiles as well. So there's a lot of fun to be had there fixing up little distortions that may have come from your camera. And the really great advantage is you can create your own, share them with other photographers as well. That's the new lens correction, both in Camera Raw, Lightroom 3 and in Photoshop itself.